Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Let's go ahead and finish Deontay Wilder off. You know, recently, Deontay Wilder blocked me on Twitter. He actually went through his Instagram and found my Instagram account, which I don't even use. He blocked it. He blocked it because he's a beta. He's upset that I bring to light some facts about his career. I mean, facts. He's fought nothing but bums. I mean, we all know this, right? Bum fighter extraordinaire. But yet still finds himself the B-side at the negotiation table against Anthony Joshua. Cries and complains about everything. You want 50-50. First you say it's not about the money, it's about your legacy. Now it seems like it's about the money and not your legacy. When has it ever been about your legacy? When you was fighting guys that was 3 and 30, 11 and 72, 4 and 18, was it about your legacy then? When you was fighting them Uber drivers, taxi drivers, come on, man, bus boys. You can go down Deontay Wilder's list of opponents, and I guarantee you, at least his first 25 opponents, let's say 15, his first 15 opponents, are probably someone working at McDonald's, man. And that's no knock to anybody that works at McDonald's. I'm just saying. They're not professional fighters. They're not dedicated to the sport of boxing like some of these other fighters are. Now, I get it. You didn't get Alexander Povekin in the ring with you. You didn't get Luis Ortiz in the ring with you. Because they popped dirty. I get it. I understand. I told you this. You be listening to the wrong videos, champ. But the fact still remains. Your record is filled with nothing but bums. Floyd Mayweather corroborated everything I said. You're the B-side for life. Anthony Joshua was the A-side. He brings all the money to the table. You got to wait, bro. You got to wait your turn. And see, so you might... Be asking or thinking, hey, man, you push for Errol Spence to fight Kell Brook. Those circumstances were a little bit different, all right? Because Spence was fighting for the IBF, and he worked his way into that mandatory position to fight Kell Brook. And Kell Brook was still acting like he didn't want to fight, right? Deontay Wilder has really done nothing to earn a fight with Anthony Joshua. He's the WBC champion. We can't take that away from him. But you bring nothing to the table. That's it. You barely fill it up the marinas in Alabama. Why are you even fighting in Alabama? You know, if you're trying to get your name out there, why don't you try fighting in Vegas? Like Floyd suggested. But you can't fight in Vegas because you can't fill the arena up fighting bums, by fighting Eric Molinas. You can't fill them up. Look. It's just so much. <laughs> look, I told you a couple, a few months ago, I said, look, you got to learn how to promote yourself. Go on one of these reality TV shows, Housewives of Atlanta or something, right? And what Deontay Wilder do? He's on a reality TV show with his wife, his girl, right? Get your name out there. You need to start going to the breakfast club. You need to make people actually care about you, Okay. It ain't about people who make these videos on YouTube. It ain't about us. Because we watch boxing regardless. It's everybody else you got to please. Ain't nobody against you, really. I'm talking about everybody racist. You live in Alabama. What you expect? Why you still living in Alabama? Move. Move to California or something. Move to New York. You getting money, right? Get out of Alabama. First thing you got to do. Number two, go on the breakfast club or something, you idiot. You fighting in New York. Why are you not on the breakfast club? Who cares if they invite you or not? Holler at Charlemagne on Twitter. You know who you are. You stupid, man. These dudes need, you know what, man? Y'all need, need to holler at Hitman Boxing. Look, you need some promotion. I can promote you right. You rolling with Luda Bella. He, ain't, he about 90 years old. Don't know how to promote nobody. Look at PBC. Look at that. Man, this is so much. It's so much to say. It's like, 
I want to say good stuff, but you just keep doing stupid stuff. Like, you got caught with weed. Like, you beating up prostitutes. Like, what you what's, what's wrong with you, champ? Look, you're going in the right direction right now. You're going in the right direction, I should say. Fighting Luis Ortiz. If he can stay clean. That's a good fight. That's a good That's a good win if you beat him. You're not, I'm not going to say he was old or nothing. I'll give you credit for the win. Because if anything, you probably knock him out, right? Then it's like, oh, snap. Deontay Wilder just, he just stopped Luis Ortiz. Maybe we got to see this. Maybe we got to see him fight Joshua next, man. Because he earned it. But he ain't earned it right now. You ain't even for the mandatory yet. Man, look, man, he, he, got, he got some of y'all fooled, but he don't got me fooled, man. I'm not easily fooled by this Alabama brother, okay? I'm not. All right? I'm not fooled by this. If Deontay Wilder, the most feared man in the boxing ring, block Hitman Boxing, that must make me the most feared personality on YouTube. That's how I see it. I'm telling you, man. This dude blocked me so quick with the quickness. And you know I put out a lot of bad videos. <laughs> you know I put out a lot of, y'all call them hate videos. It's, it's really, it is what it is. But everything I say is the truth, man. He's terrible at self-promotion. He's fought nothing but bums. He's the B-side. He brings nothing to the table. I mean, what more, like, what am I saying that's wrong? Well, what am I saying that's incorrect? Floyd Mayweather just called you the B-side, son. B-side for life. After you lose to Anthony Joshua, they're going to spray paint that on your back. B-side for life. Just like the NWO used to do. They're going to get that spray paint can out. They're going to throw the WBC belt on your back. B-side for life. That's what they're going to do. Man. <laughs> Look. Who doesn't want to see Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder? Who don't want to see that fight? Stop crying. Stop crying and go out and earn the fight, man. And stop pretending like you care about your legacy when it's all about the money. You know it's about the money. It's all about the money. It's always about the money. I know that. We all know this. It ain't about your legacy. Because if it was about your legacy at 20 fights, you would have been like, I want Klitschko right now. I want I want the Klitschkos right now. That's what you would have said. Man. You running from Shannon Briggs too. You running from everybody. Hey, it is what it is though. Hitman Boxing. Floyd already mentioned it. You're the B-side for life. And if that upsets you, then... I don't know what else to say. Stop crying. Because you're going to be the B-side until you beat Anthony Joshua. Simple as that. It's okay to be number two. It's okay to get that silver medal. You know, it's okay to come in second in that race. It's all right. Nothing wrong with second place. Floyd said that. There's nothing wrong with being second best. It's okay. But you got one belt and a huge dream. <laughs> and you not finna get that you not finna get 50-50 you know you not you know keep keep being on these little reality shows you know keep going to the boxing voice having them gargle your your sack okay but we keep it real over here I don't care if you black white Hispanic European I don't care what race the boxer is if you looking shaky like you looking, then I'm going to say something about it. All right? Hitman Boxing, drop a comment, like the video, subscribe. Subscribe, excuse me. I'm out. This world will bring you down with mass confusion and complexities. But I am the master of my fate and captain of my soul, you see. Stuck in a mentality that says one thing and does another. Oh, the contradictories. That's when I visit my utopia of Capricornia to be free. Most would say that's not normal, but for me, life is but a dream and your reality is what it seems. I'm sitting in the crib I found on Craigslist, staring out in space, scheming what my next move is. I'm thinking that it's time to move west. No idea what I'm doing. I'm just trying my best. Not exactly where I thought I'd be. Honestly, a nine to five never was in my dreams. 
I've been feeling all alone lately. Nothing I ain't used to since 88 as a baby. When I came up out the womb, everybody knew it was something special about me that fills a room. I never understood it, but my OG told me it's a blessing. I should use it to the fullest. And that's what I've been trying to do. But it's hard to keep a smile on your face while paying dues. Damn, it's hella cloudy in the room. And the shadow of reality is darkest when it glooms. I'm in the midst of the world. I wish someone could see me. Surrounded by clouds, free me. It's like an endless dream. Leading to endless roads. I want to be free from the army of I had a suicide dream about a month ago While I was sleeping on the couch in my parental's house That's when I knew that it was time for me to up and go So I booked it, couple friends took it personal Like why you just up and go? Ain't even bother to tell nobody that's rude, bro It was unintentional Conversations with myself, I need a hospital I think I've gone bipolar Half of me is conservative and the other stoner I think I lost the love that I had from a good girl The temp is negative 18, yeah that's a cold world Janis Joplin that's playing on my Pandora station Cosmic blues, just some emotional life changes Whole time, no, I gotta stop looking back Because the future's not a present, gotta get on I'm track I'm in the midst of the world I wish someone could see me Surrounded by clouds, free me It's like an endless dream Leading to endless roads I want to be free from this army of clouds